We've arrived. So this is Nia Kara. Huh. I thought it would be fancier. Excuse me. Where's Ivor? Hmm? He went off to find Lord Maxwell and... Lord Maxwell? Yes, I have returned. I, I can't believe you deign to speak to me. I am unworthy. I guess she's the real deal. She's something, all right. Not everyone gets to road trip with a major deity. I had my doubts. Please relax. No need for formalities. You say Ivor isn't here? Yes, but he should have returned by now. We're worried about him. I see. He always did have a short temper. Please, return to your work. I need to perform the ritual to resummon the four at my shrine. But it would seem my handmaid is away. Would you mind lending a hand? What? You mean we can help you? I'm not exactly a religious scholar. It's nothing difficult. The village has four altars, each with a temporal stone. So you want us to bring those to the shrine you mentioned? Precisely. Why not just ask the villagers for help? You saw what just happened. Except for my handmaid, I don't really fraternize with the villagers. They can barely look at me, let alone hold a conversation. Ah, oh, the trials of godhood. Well, I guess a little physical labor won't kill us. Right, kid? We can handle it. Don't worry, Jude. I'll explain your predicament to the villagers after the ceremony. Please be patient for just a little longer. Uh, sure. Okay, let's get hunting for those temporal stones. You said they were in the village? Yes. Gather the stones and bring them to the shrine. It lies beyond the village. That mountain beyond the village sure is something. That's the Neokara Halamont. It's a special land where four spirit climbs meet. Huh. Compared to the outside world, I guess Neokara really is quaint. Welcome home, Lord Maxwell. I'm glad to see you're all well. All thanks to you, Lord Maxwell. Wow. So people really do worship Mila. It's pretty rare to find Maxwell worshippers these days, but apparently they used to be quite common. Faith in the spirit seems to have fallen dramatically all over the world, although I couldn't tell that from here. The more spirit arts progress, the more spirits are seen as simply another facet of nature. So they used to be a bigger deal back then? Yeah. Legends say that it was the spirit Maxwell who created Riza Maxia to begin with. And the first human to follow him, Kresnik, came to be known as the Genesis Sage. Correct. And the people of this village are Kresnik's descendants. <laughs> yeah, you get crazy origin stories like that in all these rustic towns. How dare you! Twenty years ago, I personally witnessed the advent of Lord Maxwell and the four great spirits. I saw her grow into the woman you see before you without ever taking a bite of food or a wink of sleep. This miracle is proof that our legends were true. Want to tell this geezer about the time Mila collapsed from hunger? Just leave him alone. Come to think of it, the six ruling houses of Rashagal are all a part of that legend too. Their founders were supposed to be the six disciples of Maxwell and Kresnik, right? 
Now that is the truly absurd origin story. Those fools have no clue about the true secrets of this world. I should never have said that. Please, forgive me. What just happened? Nothing. Don't worry about it. And I have awakened yet another level of hidden talent. Here we go. This must be one of the temporal stones. Correct. We need three more just like that. Your hometown, Mila? It's so normal. Isn't it nice? It's so quiet here. Yeah, it sure is. Pretty weak, huh? I was expecting something freaky. Hey, come on. Did you say something? Oh, I was just wondering if your parents were around. Spirits don't have parents. And how were you born? I took this form 20 years ago. I appeared along with the four in the village shrine. Why? You seem to have a lot of questions about me. Just trying to keep Jude entertained. He was complaining about how boring the village was. Jude, do you crave chaos that much? What? I, I didn't say anything like that. Niakara really is the sticks, huh? How about we just call it simple? are such weird buildings. The villagers channel a combination of earth and wind spirits when constructing them. Four temporal stones. I appreciate your efforts. 
Let's bring them to the shrine beyond the village. So, all the arts that channel the Four Great Spirits don't work anymore? Yeah, not since the silencing 20 years ago. The power of the Four disappeared overnight, causing a worldwide panic. And when did Mila take human form again? 20 years ago. Wait, are the two related? Yes, that was me. I reserved the Four for my personal use. Seriously? I have no reason to deceive you. Of course, even I can't summon them now. So you'll have to take my word for it. gone a little easier. But we must. That wasn't too bad.
In here. Is this your house? My house? I've never really thought about it like that, but I suppose so. Boy, you're really in the sticks. What do you do for fun out here? My mission is not to entertain myself. I do spend time reading books written by humans, if you must know. Sounds... fun. Let's perform the ceremony. So, is this... okay? Perfect. Thank you. Lady Mila, I was worried sick. This looks like the rite of the Four's advent. Why would you perform such a ritual? Wait, what's going on here? Efreet, where are you? Undine, come out! Lady Mila, what has happened? I cannot believe it. So, why do you think you can't summon the spirits? Are they dead or something? Idiot! A great spirit cannot die! Was I supposed to know that? Just like a lesser spirit, a great spirit becomes a fossil when it passes away. Yet, its power transfers into the next great spirit. At least, that's what they say. Nobody's ever seen it happen. Oh, so I've heard. <laughs> That's blasphemy. Spirits are undying beings that dwell in the spirit world. It's beyond your understanding. Hmm. Well, maybe that device captured the four great spirits instead of killing them. Impossible! Mere humans could never capture the great four. But... The four great spirits aren't answering their lord's summons. If you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. If you leave an egg in a box, then somehow that egg should get crushed. The cause must lie within the egg itself. Good old Howe's egg principle. You really are an honor student. <laughs> Aspyrix advanced enough to capture even the four. When that happened, I then lost my power as Maxwell. Mila? Now you will all leave. This is holy ground, and you'll desecrate it no more. I'm the only one ordained to serve Lady Mila. Ivor, please leave as well. You can go home. Huh? Let me see. How should I put this? You're annoying. Oh! Oh. I'm going to need this in order to be able to save the four. Yes. The woman at Kijara Seafalls, and the Rashigal soldiers at Hamil. This must be what they're all after. I have to face them as I am now. What's wrong? I thought you were gonna rest. I would say the same to you. You didn't go back to the village? No. Well then, let's go set you up with the villagers.
What's wrong? Worried you won't fit in? No, that's not it. So, what are you gonna do now? Will you return to Fenmont to destroy the Lance of Kresnik? Yes. When you consider that the Lance drained mana from the Four, along with the other people there, we can assume the mana serves as some kind of fuel. The Lance must gather mana before it can be used as a weapon. I doubt it will be ready immediately. I suspect their mana gathering activities will continue. Are you planning to go alone? Stop beating around the bush. If you want to tell me something, just say it. I want to know, how come you're so brave? You've taken an interest in me, haven't you? <sighs> Bravery. That's not really it. I have a task to perform, and I do whatever it takes to complete the task. It's that simple. But you're only human now. Isn't this mission too big for just one person? I mean, you could die. That changes nothing. The task must be completed. You really are brave. Any other questions? Then let's go back. Hey! Yes? Can I come too? With you? Your whole life was turned upside down because you got involved with me. You don't regret it? Well, sure. A little bit. But it's too late to cry about it now. It's not like I can turn back time. Now that I'm neck deep in this, I want to help you if I can. You really are a do-gooder, aren't you? Y you think so? I didn't stay behind in the shrine to rest. I was hoping to sneak off without dragging you into things again. Really? Yes. Consideration for others was something I learned on our little journey together. It's not as easy as I thought. Anyway, let's head to the village. Now that you found me, I suppose I'm in no rush to leave anymore. Okay. Wasn't Alvin with you? No, I think he went back to the village. No matter what happens, I'm right there with you. Took you long enough. I didn't expect to see Mila with you. So, you've made up your mind. Yeah, I'm going with Mila. Whoa, you're quite the flip-flopper. I thought you regretted getting involved. True, but I've made my decision to help her and I'm sticking to it. Is that right? Alvin, thanks for all your help. Oh. I almost forgot. We still need to pay you. Ah, uh, yes. My fee. 
I ran into some hayseed. He said he'd pay it. One of the villagers? Yep. He was all, thank you for looking after Lord Maxwell, and you saved our spirit. Hmm. That sounds like the Elder. He shouldn't have offered. Alvin, I'll pay you myself. You need to learn how to read your people, Mila. That old man was tickled pink to pay your debt. You'd crush him if you refused. You think so? I know so. Anyway, he told me to wait here for him. That was ages ago, though. Not sure what's holding him up. He's still in the village, right? Most likely. We should find him. Don't forget to take care of anything you want while I'm still around. Once I get my reward, I'm out of here. Lord Maxwell, and your companions, forgive me for making you wait. Worry not. I hear you've prepared payment for Alvin. Yes, yes. The villagers all pitched in and collected a small fund ages ago. It's the least we can do to help you, Lord Maxwell. You hear farmers, not fighters, after all. I see. Told you. I appreciate everything you've done for me. So my debt is paid. Thank you for everything. Yeah, thanks. It was fun. See you around. And just like that, he's gone. That's a mercenary for you, I suppose. Yeah. Lady Mila! Will you be departing again? Yes. Look after the village. But I would rather accompany you! I wouldn't dare leave your holy care in the hands of this blasphemous, uncouth, shifty, backstabbing stranger! Ivor, tell me again of your duty. My duty? Why, it is to serve you, Lady Mila. And what of your other duty? Uh, to protect the people of Niakara. Those who can't protect themselves. Exactly. And now you see why Jude shall accompany me on this journey. while you fulfill your second duty. But Lady Mila, you wouldn't have lost the great spirits if not for him. No, the fault was mine and mine alone. Indeed, if Jude hadn't been there, I might never have returned safely to Nia Kara. Thanks, I'm only trying to help. But Lady Mila! The matter is not open to debate. Will you abandon your duty to this village? No. Then let's be off, Jude. I hope they haven't closed off the Sea Haven. So does that mean we'll be passing through Hamil again on the way? Hmm, yes. That's not a bad idea. Really? Is that okay? It will give us a chance to check up on Rashigal's activity here in Ajul. If we're lucky, we might even find a way to sneak into Fenmont. Gotcha. We'll stop by Hamil then. Safe travels to you, Lord Maxwell. Thank you. Lady Mila, please return to us safely!